What's up, coffee drinkers? I'm Luke. And I'm Chad. And we are the Coffee Nerds. Thanks for joining us for Coffee Nerds, the Coffee Break Podcast. We're uh, trying out Three Sisters Coffee again today. I'm trying really hard not to slurp. Sometimes you can hear the slurp on the... Uh, oh, I bet. On the on, mic. On the audio recordings. Even before. Yeah, sometimes. Definitely a good coffee. Yeah, it's been good. I think this one's held up a little better too. Like it hasn't been. Yeah. It, it wasn't as amazing off the bat, but it's keeping its flavor longer, which is cool. Like the Grizzly Claw was amazing, but it wasn't. It, it the flavor I felt like dropped off a lot faster than some of the other coffees. Yeah. So that's been interesting. So yeah. Think about testing it over a longer period of time. Right. Notice things like that. Yeah. Does it stand the shelf life? Yeah. Oh, I still like the Grizzly Claw, though. Yeah. All right. Well, today we're going to be talking about positivity. Uh, how uh, having a positive attitude is the best way to get ahead in life. It's hard to do. It is. Even when things are going wrong your your world's crumbling around you you still got to keep a, a positive attitude as as much as possible yeah. one thing one thing that that i really liked i'm sorry I, it's so cold today i got my little almost snuggie it's a, it's an armless snuggie today but uh still working on the coffee nerd snuggie yeah. Um, so one thing that stuck out to me, so we, we've been reading a lot about um, goal setting, having the best year ever. Um, so I like this. It says, a positive attitude without a dream produces a pleasant person who can't progress a dream together with a positive attitude produces a person with unlimited possibilities and potential oh my gosh i thought there was a third one there is yeah i didn't get the third one dang gosh it uh third one is a dream without a positive attitude produces a daydreamer what do you think? Seven signs of a great attitude? Yeah, let's go for it. All right. So to uh, help you with positivity, there's seven signs of a great attitude that you can strive for. First one is to believe in yourself. Many people succeed when others do not believe in them, but rarely does a person succeed when he does not believe in himself. Uh, it reminds me, believe in yourself. Reminds me of the Arthur song. Yeah. Yeah, it, it can seem a little cheesy, I guess, but it's true. Yeah. Yeah, you're believe. Gonna... Yeah, you're not going to go anywhere if you don't. Yeah. Got to believe you can do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely. This is a tough one, but uh, willingness to see the best in others. Yeah. Put a 10 over their head. Put a 10 over their heads. Yeah. It's, it's just hard. hard. Yeah. Yeah, just looking for the best in other people and trying to see that over their faults is very tricky sometimes. Yeah. 
no one wants to take, uh, be taken advantage of. Mm-hmm. And, and that's my struggle is when, uh, when people are kind of, uh, exaggerating or it seems like they're not telling the truth. They're, they're making themselves puffing themselves up, making Mm -hmm. themselves look better. I have a harder time trusting those stories. Right. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a true story, but, um, I just don't want to be taken as a fool. Yeah, for sure. So one one another thing that John C. Maxwell said uh, was that uh, if you're if you're willing to see the best in others, you kind of that, that's something that you're taking on. So whether they're you know actually lying to your face or not, it ultimately doesn't really matter because it's your your mission to to see the best in them. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, you can still you can still gain the benefit from that. Yeah, regardless of what the other person is doing. And a lot of times it does pay off. Most of the time, like you'll, you're going to have those bad eggs, but a lot of the time it'll actually like you'll reap the reward because it'll it'll help you in relationships with other people. All right, and then the ability to see opportunity everywhere. Opportunity isn't based solely on luck or position. Uh, Opportunities can exist where you find them, but you have to be willing to look where you are, Uh, not ahead in the future or behind in the past. Mm, That's good. Kind of living, living in the moment. Yeah. No regrets and no... (laughs) Right. No anxieties, but, uh, yeah, I mean, opportunity really is everywhere, depending Mm -hmm. on what, what kind of opportunity that you're looking for. Um, I always think of financial opportunity. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, and, uh, I was just, just watching a, uh, oh gosh, I was just watching a video on Facebook by Gary Vaynerchuk and he's basically saying <clears throat> if your <clears throat> if your excuse is that you don't have any money your excuse is basically null and void like he he's talking about going to the free the free spot on uh, Craigslist picking up items from there and then reselling them on eBay and Amazon and stuff like that and and i've struggled with that in the past just like i don't have the money for whatever and then yeah and then that that small opportunity it's a small opportunity it may not be mm-hmm. you know three thousand dollars this weekend but it may be an extra two three hundred dollars yeah and even even that is gas in the tank Right. Gross, you know, dinner on yeah. the table, what, whatever. Right. And so that just kind of, that kind of hit me this morning. Yeah. As long as you're getting a return on your investment. The Craigslist in yeah, Colorado. Sure. The Craigslist in Colorado is hot too. Is it? It's not like that out here. Yeah. There's not okay. as much free, not as much free stuff. Okay. Out in Ohio. Yeah. We don't we, we we don't like to give stuff away here. <laughs> it's mine. I'll throw it away first. Are you hoarders? <laughs> I guess. I guess. I don't know. It's just different. I think people just don't yeah. use Craigslist as much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number four. Focus on solutions. I like this one. Just about anybody can see problems. Cool. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's easy. Like, oh yeah, I, 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 you can. It's easy to complain. Yeah, but it's a lot harder to be like, okay, what? How can I fix this? What's the best yeah. way to do this? Uh, though that yeah. actually takes a little bit of thinking, but it's always worth the thoughts. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's hard to stay in a positive mindset, especially these these days with social media and everything. It just seems like there's so much, um, so much just negativity. Yeah, it's problems. hard not to absorb negativity from yeah. some source or another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I like this quote. Most of the things worth doing in the world have been had been declared impossible before they were done. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah, people say that all the time. It's not always true. Um, the desire to give is number five. Oh yeah, this one's this, hard. This one seems paradoxical. You're yeah. you're losing something, right? It's weird, but it works. You only have to try to find out for yourself. You yeah, don't have right. to give up all your money or rescue baby whales in the rainforest. Just try little acts of kindness where you can. Mm-hmm. And that that's, yeah, that's definitely good. Because um, for me, like, it's always been you, you give of your money, you give of your mm-hmm. income, you you take a percentage of your income and you and you give it out to help whoever and for me that's been hard um yeah. and then i've also heard you can give of your time so you know how can you benefit others whether through through finances or through um, giving of yourself, basically, mm-hmm. um, it's 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 the same thing, really. Yeah, yeah. I feel. I don't know if you have anything to add on that. Um, I don't know. I I guess I feel like you have to. Um, you kind of have to give your time away. Either way, you're spending it. Yeah. Either way, you may as well just try and spend it the the best you can. Uh, try and help others where possible that's a hard one i'm not i'm not very good at that but yeah working on it yeah Um, yeah number six persistence i like this one this has paid off uh for me quite a bit with my writing uh staying um persistent and focused on my writing has helped me achieve uh quite a few writing goals yeah if you've if you found your dream you really have to Keep at it. Uh, just keep going, no matter what. Um, and a positive attitude can make that a lot easier because you can believe your act- your hard work is actually going to go somewhere. Number seven. Take some responsibility. Yeah. Another another fun one. <laughs> um, for yourself. And the people around you, it doesn't even have to be your fault. Carry someone else's burdens once in a while, too. This can be part of giving. Yeah. I don't know. I don't don't have any ideas that one. (laughs) Take some responsibility. Don't blame anyone else. It's your fault. Yeah. Even if it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Not all the time, but sometimes I think that can be good. Yeah, yeah. There, that whole list is pretty. I like uh, that list a lot. Yeah, it's pretty um, convicting. Yeah, and uh, you know, some areas, some areas are good and. Other areas definitely kind of prick and and hit hit a nerve, you know. Mm-hmm. And and so it's a re- it's a really good list. So yeah, maybe we could put the whole that list up on the blog. Yes, uh, I will do that. In fact, it's probably there right now as you're watching this. Sweet. Um, okay. All right, so how do you get started with this? If you want to change attitudes, uh, start with a change in behavior. In other words, begin to act the part as well as you can of the person you most want to become. Gradually, the old, fearful person will fall away. 
as Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Very good quote. Yeah. All right. March 10th coming up, a couple days away, so we're going to talk about Mario Day. Uh, it's not an actual Mario anniversary. People started celebrating because some calendars will read Mar 10 on that day, which looks like Mario. <laughs> I don't know it's how that stretch. got started. Yeah, it's, it's, a it's, it's a little bit of a stretch. I, you can really see it on some calendars. Um, but whatever. It, it's an excuse to celebrate Mario. <laughs> Mario's pretty awesome. So you can believe it. Mario's been around for almost 40 years now. I think. Yeah, we're just like three day, three years away from forty years of Mario. He uh, Mario got his start in the arcades around nineteen eighty. Nintendo had seen a major failure in their first arcade game, Radar Scope. They decided to turn their failure into a new game and asked uh, a young Shigeru Miyamoto, he's a pretty famous guy in the uh, video game world, uh, to design a, a game to replace it using the same components. The result was a huge success over. 528 million games in the series, the Mario series, have been sold across various Nintendo platforms, and Mario has become a household name. I thought this was funny, too. The Mario name came from Nintendo of America's landlord at the time. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So they have Marios in Japan? What do you mean? Oh, well, no, Nintendo his... of America, it was... Oh, of America. Yeah. Okay. How funny. Yeah. They have, uh... Yeah, so when when did they come to America, then? Around the same time. They're, they were already a video game company? They were, yeah. They already had Radar... Radar Scope failed here, too. It didn't just fail okay. in Japan. Um... And I think something like 2,000 um, radar scope uh, arcade cabinets were turned into Donkey Kong cabinets. Oh. Over, that was over here, too, yeah. I see. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, one in doing the research for Mario and stuff, um, I came across, you know, Nintendo's story as well, and... It's been been a, a rocky road for for Nintendo, and uh, their their dream and their you know they're definitely an inspired company mm -hmm. um, because they can kind of continue to come out into saturated markets. Um, they started out as a uh, a card card game company Playing cards yeah and that quickly the market for that quickly got eaten up and so they they started kind of innovating their system to kind of set themselves apart from from the other games um they tried working with atari well so yeah so then then they wanted to get into video games mm -hmm. and tried working with with atari and making third they were trying to make third party uh games. Yeah. And then decided to to branch out into their own system and uh and so it, it's just really been a rocky road for them and even mm -hmm. I mean the Wii and the Wii U wasn't that a whole nother rocky rocky road area for them as well. The Wii was a was a massive success, and then oh, they thought the oh. they thought the Wii U was going to be a slam dunk because it was it was the Wii name, um, and it flopped big time. One of the least successful consoles ever, um, and then they turned that around with the Switch, and they released mm -hmm. the Switch, and the Switch is one of the fastest selling consoles ever. So yeah, it really has been. It's, it's ups and downs all the time for them. Yeah. One console will do great, and the next one, and, and it doesn't even necessarily follow why. Like, I mean, I see some mistakes they made with the Wii U, but it wasn't like an obvious, like, this is going to tank kind of thing. I mean, well, they wouldn't have made it that way if it was obvious. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's crazy. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I've always been impressed with Nintendo, the way they, they're, they're, I see them as a very positive company.
Mm -hmm. For sure. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on Mario Day tying in with the topic today, but it kind of worked. Yeah, it really did work to, for today. For Ninten Nintendo and... Yeah, and Mario too. That's a pretty cool story of like turning a failure into a, a huge success too. They took all those radar scope cabinets that were failing and turned them yeah. into one of the biggest video games of all time. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. All righty. Thank you for watching another episode yes. of Coffee Nerds. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're on Facebook, here. like and follow our Facebook. And definitely follow us on Instagram. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next week. All right. Hey there, coffee drinkers. It's your pal, Coffee the Cup. Thanks for checking out this week's episode of Coffee Nerds. Check back next Wednesday and every Wednesday for another brand new episode. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye. I love you.